What up Long Beach? Welcome back to your home for everything local sports. It's JJ. This highlight video was brought to you by Naples Rib Company, the perfect place to cater your team's next event. Let's go batter up. We're taking the afternoon off. It's a beautiful day for baseball in Long Beach. St. Anthony and Desert Christian Academy in the quarterfinals of the Division 6 CIF Southern Section Playoffs. Saints the at-large bid, most dangerous team in the bracket, while the Conquerors from DCA have a senior class that won the CIF championship as sophomores. Lucky for the Saints, they've got their guy going to the mound, Kobe, senior Kobe Palmaris. All 10 innings in the bag for him to use today, and he just might need them. It's Abbott and Costello on the mound as the visitors are going to go with the diminutive sophomore Scott Jones, and they draw first blood. In the top of the third, usually it's the Saints playing small ball in this field, but DCA doing it to perfection as Kenny Don't Call Me Eric Gagne is going to come up with a man on second, put it on the ground, not past one Saint, past two Saints, which allows the run to come around to score and give the visitors a 1-0 lead. We move to the bottom of the fourth while Paul Maris is up there trying to help himself with a one-out single to center fields. Up comes Ben Hur, yes, Ben Hur and may God grant me vengeance. This ball, high fly to right field, off the top of the fence. It's a two-run home run. Palmaris all the way turned up, and Ben Hur, why did you leave me unchained? The Saints dugout is almost as excited as Palmaris is. They are up 2-1 and they're going to get some help to add to their lead in the fifth inning. Darian Garcia reaches on an error, goes to second. He's sacrificed to third, and with one out, Grant Granger, the one who gets it done. The RBI sack fly plenty deep to left field. Saints feeling good right now. They are up 3-1, headed to the sixth inning, but the Conquerors have some big flies of their own. Gagne with a leadoff solo shot, a no-doubter to left field, three hits, two RBIs for the junior. It is now 3-2 Saints. Then, two batters later with two outs, Donnie Rothler is in his element. The moonshot from the senior. I come back, he still hasn't reached first base. It's because he did a Barry Bonds spin at home and he's leaving F-bombs in his trail like Mario Kart green shells. I've never seen a high school player pimp a home run like this and Palmeiras takes exception to that point to his dugout, as you do. Eventually, things would calm down, but this moment right here, just another example of how emotional this game was. It is 3-3 at the end of the sixth. We go back to DCA on the mound where senior Chris Palmer came in for Jones in the fifth inning, and he came out to pitch five scoreless innings, giving up just one hit and one walk. So yeah, free baseball, we're going to extras. In the ninth, Conquerors lead off with back-to-back -back singles to put two on with nobody out. DCA trying to bunt the runners over. Palmaris is going to throw it over to first to get that would-be out, but oh, pulls Marquez off the bag. Close call, but the bases are loaded with nobody out. As has been the case all day, Palmaris forces weak contact. He gets the force out at home. Huge out, but the bases are still loaded. Conquerors going to try to squeeze the run home, but it's foul. Oh, that would have worked. They're going to let Norheem swing. It's a chopper. It's second baseman Adrian Baez. Got him! One close call deserves another. Another big out for the Saints. And of course, Palmeiras makes it count with one of three fly ball outs. Emotion on his sleeve all day. The senior goes 10 innings, gives up 10 hits, but doesn't walk anybody. A gutty performance. These seniors at St. Anthony leave in a legacy, but that's his 10 innings for the week. So, He's got to give the ball to sophomore Alex Honeycutt, who comes through with two scoreless innings. Jones is going to re-enter for the Conquerors in the 10th inning, and in the 12th, the Saints get something going. First, it's Tim Johnson with a leadoff single that gets just inside the line in left field. Johnny Pacheco going to pinch run for the designated hitter. Then on an 0-2 count, sophomore Dominic Goldschmidt goes up the ladder. Nice hit there into left field going the other way for the single, so we got two on. Still nobody out, Honeycutt up to butt, but Jones throws over second on the pickoff attempt. Not many breaks for San Anthony in this one, but that's a big one. They walk Honeycutt to load the bases, so still nobody out. Baez can come up and end it. And after he fouls off a 2-2 pitch, Adrian! That's definitely got the distance, and caught or not, it's a walk-off. It's a walk-off. Pacheco scores it. Baez is piled 
winner winner first semifinal berth dinner since 1995. Saints head coach Chris Jondal said after that this was the best game he's ever seen because of how big the moment was and quote, we talked before the playoffs that we wanted these seniors to leave a legacy and that you don't want to see the Saints in the playoffs. <laughs> Amen. Incredible performance from the Saints who seem to have their backs up against the wall all day, but they come out with a 4-3 victory in 12 innings. Meanwhile, Division VI top-seeded Sage Hill was upset by Berkeley on Friday, so the Saints will travel to Sherman Oaks to take on the Griffins in that semifinal. Thanks as always to all of our sponsors, including Papalucci's down on 2nd Street, who help us bring you all of these local sports highlights right here at gazettesports.com and the Press-Telegram.